How's it going everyone? Javita here with an elemental guide video. This was requested by Bray the Wizard and yeah, this is kind of something I've been meaning to do for a while and it's a little bit confusing, but let's just kind of jump in and take a look at this. So right off the bat, I have all of these gems sectioned off into their categories. So right here we have the Volatile, followed by Potent, followed by Caustic. So as you can see here in the caustic category, we have amethyst and emerald, which is corrosion and toxin. And as you can see, there's this extra one right here. This is actually dark matter. It's not in the game just yet. It's a special material, but there is a dev comment where each set of elements in a particular category are basically born from or have a parent element of these special elements right here. So dark matter gives birth to the caustic elements. Moving over here, we have sapphire and topaz in the potent category, which is parented by rift. And then finally over here for the volatile, we have diamond and ruby which is blast and burn parented by blink as you probably already guessed certain elements will counter other elements whereas some elements will be more resistant to others as well so let's jump over to a handy chart that i literally made a few hours ago so don't judge it too harshly but it shows off all the different interactions of the elements Okay, so jumping into this chart, a couple of things that are good to note is that elements are 80% resistant to themselves. So naturally, you're not going to want to use a burn or a ruby sling bow against a burning creature because they're going to resist it 80% of the time. Not good. On the flip side, all elemental creatures also have a 40% resistance to physical damage. So copper all the way up to titanium sling bows will have a 40% chance of doing no damage to elemental creatures. That's why when you're using that titanium or iron sling bow, you'll still get those elemental resisted uh, hits, which can be pretty annoying because just because it's a burning creature, why, how does that make it resistant to iron or titanium? It's literally a projectile hitting them it's kinetic energy but whatever <laughs> then moving down here as you can see we have this star in the middle and this connects together the counters so blast counters toxin toxin counters blast and as you can see that gives you an extra 30 percent damage for using the appropriate element against the elemental target so very nice one way to remember these counters are by remembering the personalities of the weapons so we have these letters right here so h is for heavy b is for balanced and then s is for swift so if you notice it's not just a ruby sling bow it's a balanced swing bow it's not a corrosion sling bow it's a corrosion swift sling bow or a swift corrosion sling bow so if you can remember which one's which as far as being balanced, heavy, or swift, you can re easily remember the counters. Since the balanced sling bows counter each other, the swift sling bows counter each other, and then the heavy sling bows counter each other. If you take a look at Blast here, it has neighbors of burn and shock, and right here you can see that uh, blast is 60% less effective against burn, whereas it's only 30% less effective against shock. And if you're familiar with the elemental planets and the resistances required for them, you know that burn and blast go hand in hand because it's under the volatile protection category. Uh, so these are the volatile elements and on blast planets you can find both diamonds and rubies. And coming over to this side you can see that corrosion and toxin form up caustic and then chill and shock form potent over here. And if you notice down here, we have the black line equals no change in damage or effectiveness. So this kind of six pointed star ish looking thing in the background here denotes the elements that have no diminished effectiveness against each other. So in other words, if you're using a toxin sling bow, it'll be most effective against blast creatures. However, it'll be pretty darn effective against burn and shock as well. And this is pretty handy because all you have to do is bring two sling bows 
and you won't get that plus 30% damage against everything, but you will at least have an option that's pretty darn effective against everything. So if I have both a Toxin and a Blast Slingbow, you can see that Toxin's gonna counter these three elements on this side, and then the Blast will get the other three on the opposite side. So very nice how that is set up. So that covers the elemental interactions pretty nicely. If we come over to this next picture, I went ahead and threw in the special materials. So as you can see, we have our Vileteil, Caustic, and Potent. And then here are the parent elements here. So we have our Blink, Dark Matter, and Rift. And theoretically, the special or primal elements will have a rock, paper, scissor relationship between them, where one will counter the other, which will counter the other, which will counter the other sort of thing. However, that relationship is not yet known, and possibly even the child elements of the opposing side might counter the other primal elements to some degree. Uh, however, again, still not known. And then there's also over here to the side, this is actually Ort. For a time being, there was actually recipes for like compacted Ort and even uh, like Ort tools and weapons in the game files. However, I think that might be scrapped, but again, who knows? But again, here are the personalities for these uh, primal elements, so Dark Matter is heavy, Blink is swift, and then Balanced is Rift over here. So all in all, a pretty interesting in-depth elemental counter type system, and certainly once we get these primal or special elements over here, it should get even more interesting. But at any rate, I think I will throw this first jar into the question sections on the official Boundless Discord. Once this video goes live, I'll also throw a link in the description of this video to this picture if you want it for your own personal use. Uh, but yeah, this was Jafita. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace.